What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. And here is an article that shows that used car prices hit record high as dealership invent- inventory at historic low. So we know that the supply chain has been an issue. I've talked about uh, the supply chain being, you know, wreaked with havoc, especially on, I mean, on both sides of the coast. But if you look in Southern California, you see how many containers, over half a million containers, just waiting to be shipped out. And we're seeing all these stores. You see some empty spaces in stores. Uh, They just don't have anything to stock back, you know, the shelves. And with these cars, there's a chip shortage. And also, it's, I mean, they're not getting much inventory from from the automakers. And so you're seeing crazy prices for vehicles. I know uh, I received an email um, on behalf of a vehicle, and they're asking uh, to buy it and if I was interested in selling it. And so the dealerships are desperate to get their hands on some vehicles because their inventory is low. I mean, you see used car prices. I mean, it's increased 5.3% month over month in September. And from a year ago, it is up 27%. That is insane. Now, I'm going to show you right here that inventory is at historical levels. You see where it is right now, where it was in September 21st. Very low, okay? And here it's reiterating the point that I was talking about. Dealerships have been forced to purchase secondhand cars to replenish inventory due to shortages of new vehicles. This in itself will also keep used car prices higher. And when you think about it, it it's everywhere. And I, I, what I do believe, because you're starting to see inflation hit several sectors. Uh, it started off with commodities. The energy sector is getting hit right now. You see it with the car prices. Um, I believe that what's going to happen, and you start, and it makes sense, but I believe that you, you may see all this increase in, or you might see an increase in inflation. But there's going to be a deflationary period. And if you listen to Brent Johnson, he also gives his insight on this, and he also comes up with the dollar milkshake theory, and he believes the dollar will get stronger. But, um, and Mike Maloney believes there's a deflationary period before there's a hyperinflationary period or inflationary period. But I do believe that right now you're starting to see inflation kind of creep in. There's going to be a small moment of deflation that's going to happen where things are going to come down. And that may be a good time to, you know, maybe buy into some things. Now, financial advice, you guys do what you, whatever you believe may happen. But once that deflation period is over, hyperinflation is going to hit. And you see all these bills and, and Biden's new infrastructure bill that's been signed. And we also see the other bill that Trump signed during his tenure. These bills are not, they're, they're meant to be used in the next couple years, several years. And whenever that money starts flowing, you're going to see a rush of liquidity hit the system. And when that happens, sorry, my dog here's barking. One second. When you see that rush of liquidity hit the system, you're going to, I mean, you're going to see this jump in prices because that money's going to start flowing. And you're talking about trillions of dollars that have hit hard into the into the system. And so I can't imagine. I mean, the, the economy will so called will be so called, you know, booming or whatnot. But you're gonna start seeing uh, prices increase like crazy. And so that's a scary time. And uh, People might be like, oh, my assets are going up in price, this, this, and that. But also, you start seeing the prices of, of prices of supplies and necessities going up. So, 
It's going to be, it's something you got to prepare for. And it, it, it's almost as, you know, there's always the, the fear of markets crashing down. But p- people don't realize that the markets can crash up. And that's when you just, um, you know, devalue the, your purchasing power. And hopefully we don't end up in a scenario where we're like Weimar Germany in which our currency is worthless because they had a period of deflation prior to their hyperinflation and it lasted that that deflationary period wasn't long it was a matter of i believe 12 to 18 months so keep your head on the swivel um we're staying up to date on these things and we'll see where where it goes but be prepared for that and have a financial plan because that's always important I hope this episode has brought you some value. Like and subscribe, comment below, let me know your thoughts. As always, I like hearing from you. This is the Digital World Podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode.